yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Lancome, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got the Yo. Yo. What's up? What's good? What's happening? I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. And you're watching. Lord of Perfected Work. We got that work. If you look next to my face, that's that work. These are products in my actual website. Website's right below me. Shoeloves.rebels.com. Okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Today has been very interesting, man. Let me get my magic wand real quick. Hold up. Well done. So, it's Taco Tuesday, but we ate nachos. It's been a backwards ass day. But, doesn't mean that things aren't better. That things aren't getting better. Because according to the sky, the sun is out. Sun's out, bun's out. What's good, y'all? How things going? I know y'all probably like, this guy's crazy. But... I can't help it, man. It's Taco Tuesday, but we eating nachos. Like, what the fuck? Everything on TefnetArchive.com is 50% off. Tefnet Archive is where I sell all my jewelry, necklaces, and such. Um, Yeah. And we're just going to keep it funky. Man, I really didn't have a subject to talk about today. I kind of just got on here because you know, what's that song? What a Drake song? It got me in my feelings. Key key, do you love me? Are you riding? That's how I feel right now. I feel like ain't nobody riding for me except me. I mean, at eleven, eleven too. She always gonna ride for a nigga. But as far as I'm concerned, man. I pretty much got to thug this track dolo so I can go home home I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to thug the track alone gotta take the path the moonlit path into the unknown man I know there's people out there that um that literally have gone through this shit trekking the path alone well you're never really alone and when you got people that you ride with, or people that ride for you, never really alone. Shout out to 1111. You know, and all my years of living, I never met somebody, and I never had nobody that just really gave a fuck for no reason at all, besides my mom. And I ain't trying to get sentimental on here. But I appreciate you. For real. I really do love you, man. Because. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucked up place I'll be at, man. 
I've been in some some strange, strange thoughts as of late. Like, uh, I'm not gonna talk about observations, but just thoughts that I have been having, like, just amongst myself today. You know, I know some people be feeling like, fuck family. Family ain't shit. Blood is thicker than water. Or sometimes friends be more family than blood or whatever. You know, I know y'all see these memes on Facebook and Instagram and shit like that. When I see shit like that, I see people coming from a hurt place. I see people coming from a hurt place when they say fuck family and shit like that. Man. If that's the case, man, man, friends, all that shit, it should have started with boundaries. You know, I'm in somebody else's shit right now. So boundaries, I create my own inside of somebody else's shit. You know what I'm saying? This ain't my world right now. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm, I'm creating my world. So when I'm inside of this world, I gotta play the game just like everybody else do to a certain extent. But I play the game. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to love, you gotta play the game, man. When it comes to friendship, you gotta play the game, man. You know what I'm saying? Even Puff Daddy wore a suit to court, you know? But sometimes shit be so overwhelming and you just be like, I can't do it. I can't fuck with these people. I can't fuck. You got to see shit from the bigger picture, man. Even if you have to take yourself out the equation to achieve your goals, do that. But never turn your back on family. Never turn your back on humans. Never turn your back on primordials. Don't turn your back on nothing. Because remember, you never know who Jesus is, man. You never know who anybody is. Because all you can do is assume. People do shit from hurt places. That's why you can't smack the fuck out of them, Lord X. You can't beat they fucking ass, Lord X. Even though you want to sometimes. People do shit from hurt places, man. And sometimes you have to really step back. You have to go way up into the mountain and fly high and see that you're just hurt. Because your situation didn't turn out how my situation didn't turn out. They situation didn't turn out. You know what I'm saying? can't cast your fears on other people because when someone gets upset then you're casting your fears on them because by doing certain actions i seen a post talking about if you angry you let the anger motivate you nah bro we coming from balanced places we light workers we coming from a balanced place okay y'all we coming from a balanced place my heart too big to be trying to beat niggas up even though I got the skills of a hundred ninjas, bro, I'm, my heart too big to be beating niggas up. You know what I'm saying? I love people too much to even go down that road because, like I said before, people saying some fucked up shit to you, they coming from a hurt place. They don't know how to express themselves properly. So what you can do is like I always do when people talk crazy shit to me. First things I always say is the truth. The universal truth at that, you know? And then I offer advice. Sometimes I be want to beat people's ass through that shit. But the bigger picture always remains. I want to see the full masterpiece, the magnum opus. I don't want to see a corner of it. You feel me? It's way too much corner watching. <laughs> Come on, y'all. We can build this museum together. Light workers stand up. If you're a light worker, man, shout out to you. And if if you just someone who feels something in their soul and they want to change something, hey, shout out to you because you might as well be a motherfucking light worker too, man. But yeah, sometimes it's good to rant to somebody you care about. You know what I'm saying? Express your true thoughts. But don't ever not tell the truth when you're talking to people too. And niggas will say shit to try and trigger you. Or, you know, 
uh, like shit test you basically. See how you're gonna react because they know you might react a certain type of way. Honestly, at the point that I'm getting to for real, for real, like I just said, right after I got off this phone call and started this stream, I'm getting to that point where this shit is stupid. It's mundane to me. You know what I'm saying? For the past almost a week now, man, I've been surrounded by people that are exactly like me. <laughs> yeah. Exactly like me, man. Shit is tough sometimes. Dealing with clones. Everybody want to do what you doing and be like you and shit. But always remember, um, emulation is a form of flattery. People copy you because they can't come up with the ideas themselves. So just be happy that you doing the right things and be happy that you inspiring people, especially family members. That's what you're supposed to do, okay? You're supposed to inspire. You're supposed to lead. Inspire and lead. But that's just a little thingy thing I was trying to touch on because I know sometimes I probably be spazzing. Nah, I be spazzing, bro. I'm a whole rager out here, bro. Like, I don't go out to the spots and rage out no more like I used to. Because I had, um, I went complete horizontal. And, like, my hip is like this now. Like, this is my, actually, it's like this. This is my left hip and this is my right hip. So, yeah. Can't rage no more like I want to. But, yoga has healed the pain that I was feeling. Shout out to yoga. If y'all don't do yoga, man, and you got aches and pains, do yoga, man. I'm telling you, this shit is an instant cure. Then take some black seed oil and you, it'll be like you 10 years old again, man. I'm telling you. But yeah, it's Taco Tuesday, but we ate nachos. Shit kind of weird today. I don't really, I don't know why that's fucking with me so much, but it's, it's probably because I'm, uh, I got Islander in me and, you know, Hispanic shit in me. All kind of shit in me, bro. Shout out to colonialism. Woo! My bad. Anyways, so Taco Tuesday. We're gonna get into the real meat. The real taco meat. <laughs> so today I was working on my magazine. I'm trying to finish this magazine, y'all. So I can put it out and give it to y'all, man. Now I'm not gonna lie. This magazine gonna cost money, man. I've been working on this shit for damn near a decade. So ain't no way I'm about to just let this shit go. But, but here's the catch. I'm making this magazine so affordable that a child could buy it. Because children be like, I don't know how the fuck they doing it, but these little niggas be finding ways to buy shit. I don't know if it's they be like, mom, I want this book, you can buy it, I don't know. But it'd be like 15 years old that be learning how to drop ship and shit. Because they be buying books off of Instagram and shit. I don't know how the fuck they entrepreneurial parents be on Instagram like I'm gonna buy this for my son I don't know I don't fucking know but I want children to be able to afford this magazine because this magazine I honestly want children to have it first not hating on uh people who want to be adults but I'm a kid so I wrote this book for kids so I really don't want like kids to be excluded from reading this material but i've been working on this shit for the most part until family members came and was like hey we're playing mario party and you know i just can't turn down a good game of mario party man it's just i'm the shit at mario party so i just can't turn it down man and these are the people that I grew up playing it with, and they all act the same like they like they used to when they were a child. So, you know, I don't really have no beef with them. But when we play Mario Party, that's when the beef come out. <laughs> that's when we get grimy. I'll be like, all the dark shit that we have in our family, we should take it out on Mario Party. We should just play Mario Party and just take it out on that shit. But now nah, these niggas will actually rather. They would rather fuck you over in real life. So I guess I just have to pretend that real life is Mario Party and I'm Mario. Well, I'm not even Mario, I'm Luigi. So, but yeah, <laughs> shit getting critical in this motherfucker, man. 
but I done made my escape route. I know it's kind of shitty because I just, I came here and I was taking care of my mom for a while, but now that she's like in a better place, I think I, it's my time to get the fuck on, go follow my dreams, even though I already live my dreams. But you, you get what I'm saying. I'm trying to talk from a perspective of someone who ain't did the shit yet. I'm just following my dreams, man. <laughs> On taco or nacho Tuesday since, you know, we ate nachos today. I'm just following my fucking dreams, man. And then what's crazy is the sun, the snake, and the scarab are in front of me. And the rabbit and the reed. So it's kind of trippy. Uh oh. Oh. I was about to say, bro. I thought this shit said, but that, uh, I get um, insight digest from the label that I'm still fucking signed to, unfortunately. But fuck, man. I gotta get off this label. Hey, I'm getting off this label this year. That's another thing I want to talk about too. I'm getting off this motherfucking label this year. God damn it. That's so why I'm finna go back to the A and just disappear on niggas, bro. I gotta, I gotta go into the, into the, the uh, Mario pipe and start creating the shit that I want to create far away from niggas, man. Cause, boy, it's too loud. <laughs> it's way too loud. It's way too fucking loud. And they be loving it, bro. They, they come as soon as they see each other, they all start screaming. I'm <laughs> so not hating on them you know i guess if i was them i would nah probably not but hey fuck it i'm just trying to go to a space where i can create properly no distractions even though i don't really get distracted too much i'm lying like fuck i get distracted all the goddamn time bro i stay getting distracted i have the attention span of a turkey for real and I'll be saying people have the attention span of a turkey and I'm the actual turkey. I'm a turkey, y'all. Jive turkey. God damn. But yeah. Yeah, my attention span is terrible. So that's one thing that I'm gonna work on when when I go and do my thing back in the city. Oh, god damn. <sighs> damn the nachos got me sleepy, boy. What the fuck they put in that shit? See, this is why I don't be eating this shit, man. You know, for an uh, entire week, I've been eating low vibrational food on purpose. Like, y'all, this is a let this be a lesson to you, man. Stay away from people who will influ influence you to do shitty stuff. Like, even if it's family. That's why I said from the jump, bro. I just feel like you can still love your family from a distance and get shit done and then you know bless them because they might just be so goddamn stupid that you have to do shit like that now you want it to be like oh yeah i can get with y'all and we can create an empire nah bro fuck that <laughs> look where's the wisdom i tried this twice with people that weren't family and family doesn't work if you don't have uh, people who are more dedicated than you, more knowledgeable than you, more wise than you, or as motivated as you, and all those other words I use, cool. You can get shit popping then, but for real, man. <laughs> you gotta you gotta really like thug that shit out, man. Like the moonlit path for real. And you never alone. You just gotta really trust yourself and your intuition, you know? If you got somebody who really down for the cause, uh, put as much energy into them people as you can. Cause it's tough, man, when you try and put that same amount of energy in other people who don't deserve it. And I wouldn't say don't deserve it, but just don't reciprocate that energy. Let's, let's use that word. Cause everybody deserves some kind of love and some kind of respect, you know? Everybody deserves that, but, um, if they're not reciprocating the same energy, don't don't overextend yourself to the point where, because at the end of the day, man, you're gonna be fucking wasting your time, your resources, all that shit. You don't want to do that. 
You definitely don't want to fucking do that. Excuse me, y'all. I don't know why I keep yawning like fuck, bro. I'm not even tired. Oh, yeah. I know why. Because I'm fucking drained. I'm drained. From keeping from spazzing the fuck out. Like, I'm telling you, man. I had to do a whole, like, I think that shit was like 30 minutes to an hour long meditation today. That's why I'm so cool now. And I can get my thoughts off pretty pretty smooth. But I ain't gonna lie. I really could have been angry as fuck today. Like, I woke up and niggas was on that bullshit. <laughs> I really could have been angry as fuck today. But I drank my tea. I focused on my goals. And I got some shit done, man. You know? Like, and I ate the, the biggest fucking breakfast, man. So, I just focused on how I could make the light of the situation. Cause you know, people are always gonna shit test you for real, for real, man. They be looking to do it. The vampires always looking to do it. That's why you gotta stay away, man. And they'll try and turn the shit on you too. Them the motherfuckers I love. I, them the people I love the most. The people who try and turn the shit on. Cause I don't know if um I don't know if y'all ever played Mario Party Three, but there's a game on there with these little like you gotta press the button. And these bombs, like, like there's two teams on each side, and then there's bombs in the middle. And you gotta press the button to keep the bombs from hitting your team. They be sending these bombs, but I just like my controller is automatic. I press the button one time and I hold it, and I just I press the bombs all back, and they're like, "Fuck, we can't keep up with." Them. Like I don't have time for that shit, bro. My mind is in the clouds, creating and forming tangible objects. That people can use to better themselves and their lives. And y'all not gonna drag me down with that shit. <sighs> Boy, these headphones, man. I think I gotta get some uh some more cushiony headphones. <laughs> hey, who wanna donate and get your boy some cushiony headphones? They only like 10 bucks at Walmart. Ten dollar donation, man. <laughs> I'm just playing. Do not ever donate to my channel. Cause we have two websites inside of one go to shoelovesrebels.com the website is right below me if you want to know how to spell it correctly all my social media is on there for the most part because i really be on ig i have a facebook it's called uh shoe loves rebels llc spelt the same way as the website right below me but l l c is at the bottom and i'm not throwing up gang signs either and these are products that's next to my face so if you fucking with the products and you see something that you like if it's the jewelry all the jewelry on the website is 50% off on tefnetarchive.com. And these notebooks are in 1111's shop. Please visit these links. So many great things that you'll find in there. Uh, she just dropped a coloring book for adults. And it's awesome. And you should get it because it's great therapy. Because I wish I had one right now. But I don't. So now I have to cope. I don't have no weed. I might go grab a beer later. Maybe. I don't fucking know. Try not to be drinking every goddamn day. But I've pretty much been doing it every day every day since they've been here. Like, I'm going to be real with y'all. We in, we live in the chat. I'm going to be real. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all, man. Because that's just, that's just how I got to be, man. We on a path to ascension. Okay? We on a path to motherfucking ascension. All right? I expect nothing less than for all of us to be real with each other whenever we come in here. So, you know, shit is what it is, man. Sometimes shit ain't gonna be how it's supposed to be, but we not finna, we not gonna worry about that. This this shit is about moving forward. How can we move forward? How can we take this energy and transmute it into energy for us to move forward? So fuck all the extra shit. Fuck the baby picture. Fuck the micro shit. It's about the macro right now. We on that macro shit. We seeing the big picture together, y'all. And I won't let y'all fall. As long as y'all confide in me, I'll confide in y'all. I won't let y'all fall. Because I know how it is feeling alone. I know how it feels to feel alone. This shit is whack, man. Y'all ever, like, my phone number is literally connected to my Instagram, bro. Y'all don't have to be, like, hitting me up on Facebook and shit. Like, y'all can directly text me or call me. You ever feel like shit fucked up and my instagram is on the website shoelovesrebels.com please pull up like i'm always down to have a conversation about some real shit just don't get on there acting like a dummy because your ass will get blocked 
but yeah man so just little things going on here and there and it's probably just at uh astrological features feature films happening that's we're just a part of it we can't control it unless we just get in the energy of our own planetary alignment which our own universe our own solar system within and i know it probably sounds harder it sounds harder than what it is but it's really not man this is why i like getting on these these live streams because i get to explain to y'all about my code and ethics and how i go about things but it's not because i'm telling y'all how y'all should do it i'm just showing y'all hey just like how i have my own religion you can have your own personal religion that you follow your own personal laws and code of ethics that you follow you know this ain't no i mean pretty much it is like this this is my uh you and lord x's world you know what i'm saying when you come into these i'm gonna talk about shit from my experiences you know at every level i try i've been trying to film myself at every level that i've been at from the lowest to the highest level i want to you know how some people wait until they already got all this shit like a1 like fuck that bro. i'm trying to show y'all the grimy parts from the beginning y'all people who have been there since the beginning like before i started doing uh the uh, first keys to the island album before i did that album and fucking uh i'm talking about when i was on snapchat y'all like the beginning when i was doing my very first vlogs like way back Going back that far, y'all seen, like, even though I went from having a vehicle to not having a vehicle to having a vehicle to not, like, y'all see me at every level, pretty much. And y'all about to really see me come up even more as time progresses because that's why I do these channels. Because the people who watch, I know some niggas be like, yo, man, I'll be, I'll be, niggas be hating on me. Like, yeah, it's usually people that I'm related to, but. The people on the outside have motiva motivated me for years. They will hit me up and be like, bro, you're like my favorite artist or you're my favorite producer or bro, man, you, you're the reason I started making music. Like, I will never stop, bro. I will never give up. Never. Fuck that. I won't ever give up on nobody. And I'll never give up on family either. Even the ones that hate on me, bro. Because it's, it's a bigger narrative here that people got to realize as a light worker, y'all have the power, no matter what, by just standing your ground, having healthy boundaries, and letting people know your, your truth, and just being completely unbothered in that shit. Like, sometimes you do have to teach people lessons one time. That's all I ever, I, I take time out to teach lessons at least once. Let niggas know, hey, I'm not, to, I'm not the one to be fucked with. Everyone should learn that. Everyone should learn how to be able to, in their own special way show people hey i'm not the one to be fucked with but that it requires you to be 10 toes down in your in being you to do shit like that because the only time someone can piss you off make you feel some type of way it's always going to be the person that's the closest to you that can do that so you have to be 100 percent sure not even sure of yourself but 100 percent grounded in yourself and knowing that hey People gonna say everybody got an opinion, man. That's why humans have throats. I tend to like to use throats for other things, but these people talk, so let them talk. If they the if they have something, they might have something valid to say. Like you, you don't ever just want to write motherfuckers off because they ain't all that bullshit that be spewing out their fucking face sometimes, bro. There are gems. And. Like I always say, you never know who's Jesus. So if you feel like you about to say some wild ass shit, just walk away. Just leave them motherfuckers alone. Just be like, hey, you know, I really love you, but I gotta go. And if they be like, where are you going, man? Why? I just have to go. I'm feeling uncomfortable and you're crossing my boundaries and I don't wanna have to whoop your fucking ass. You can say that to somebody. Now, if they really bought them hands, then you can beat their ass up. You know what I'm saying? It's mutual. Then it's a mutual beef. It's not just you wanting to beat somebody's ass. You know what I'm saying? Somebody come at you crazy, you have every right to beat their ass, man. Or you can be the bigger person. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you. 
You get to decide at that point if you want to fuck them up or not. That's the great part about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can really just be like, hey, you know what? You got it, man. I'm going to let you live today, bro. Because I really brought the magic wand. I was really about to just fucking pain your ass. But, nah, man. I'm feeling peaceful. I'm feeling aligned with Source right now, you know. I created you because I am you and you are me. So, you know, I don't feel like beating my own ass. That's just, that's stupid, man. We should be working together to beat they ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, man, you can't get caught up on the minors. The minors suck. That's how people get sucked into the bullshit is the minor shit. Like, when I be spazzing out, it be because of universal love and universal truth. People always trying me because they think that, um, how can I word this? People try me because I am universal love. So when they see that, they're like, oh, I'm going to complain or I'm going to talk shit or I'm going to find something to trigger you. But at the same time, bruh, I'm not like these other people, man. I'm here to help. Now, you're going to cross my boundary because you you feel some type of way about how I'm doing something, then you can just come talk to me. You feel me? And I'm just talking from a perspective of this is how you could be saying this. You should just come talk to me, man. If you feel some type of way about what I'm doing, just come talk to me on a real level. Now, if you saying some bullshit, I'm going to call it bullshit, okay? If you want to act like a bitch, I can beat your ass like a bitch, man. You know, these, this this shit is simple, bro. You know, like, I don't even got to go too deep into it because it's really simple. Like, y'all got to be 10 toes down in your fucking self. And if you, if you feel shaky about who you are, you got to spend more time alone then. It's time to go. It's time to be the hermit. You got to spend more time alone. Straight up. Because you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be letting nobody knock you off of who you are. Like, bro, I was at an event. I was at the trap fest shit, man, cloaked out, bro, smoking. You don't think motherfuckers weren't trying to talk shit about me because I was doing me? They going to do that. But guess who made money right on the spot? The artists had to wait, bro. They ain't even selling no tickets for that shit, bro. Like, y'all have to understand that shit, man. If you stay in a certain type of energy, bro, the shit that people say will never matter. You can reflect on it. Like, I reflected on the shit with my girl, bro. <laughs> Easily, I'm like, yo, why do people do shit like that? It'd be funny, bro. It's funny to me because I talk to her about it because I don't got nobody else to talk to about shit. Like, I can't talk to my brother about shit. Can't talk to my parents about shit because I'm pretty much crazy to these people. You know what I'm saying? They use me to, they basically, they use me. But I'm okay with that because that's why I'm here. I'm the male of the family. I'm supposed to be used. That's just how it be. That's just how it is. I'm the I'm the king, so you know what I'm saying? It's, it ain't no different than people out here using the government to live their life. People getting child support or government assistance, it's no different than that. I'm the motherfucking government around here, so why wouldn't they be using my resources? I work for them to have resources. I create so they can have resources. So Taking shit personal when it's business, it's all, to me, it's all business. Everything, life is business at this point for me. There is nothing personal for me anymore because I am not a person to myself. I'm pretty much everybody in one. And I just take everybody's shit and master it one by one. Oh, you like taking pictures? I'm a photographer now. Oh, you like making beats? I make bet. Everything that any of my, of my family members ever tried to show me, I mastered this shit. Anything that anybody else out in the world tried to show me, I mastered this shit. Anything that people try to tell me more knowledge about and I didn't have enough knowledge, I went and studied and mastered this shit. Now, I choose to live the life that I live because it's healthy for my family. That's how you should live your life so that it's healthy for your fam. Only reason your family doing shit like this it's because you got to step up and make sure that you lead in the way being the light worker. Step up to your position. 
Real shit. That's how real shit get done. They ain't gonna have shit to say to you when you doing you and it's worked out for you and them. Granted, you might feel some type of way, but you can't because they're you. You can't tell me you wouldn't do the same shit if you was in the same position as they were. And you not them. You didn't make the decisions that they made. So you can't, you can't shame them. You can't do none of that shit because that's wrong, man. All you can do is try to teach them as much as you can. They had to do the same thing with you. You didn't know shit at one point. So always try to be a teacher. Always try to be the, the mediator. Cause somebody always gonna try to come in your face and talk some old crazy shit. That's just what it is, bro. People be sad, afraid, upset, um, feeling neglected or whatever. They do shit like that out of pain. So don't don't worry about that, bro. You gotta be the one to be like, hey, it's gonna be all right, man. It's gonna be okay. Cause I pretty much had to do that yesterday or the day before yesterday. Granted, I didn't want to because. I hate when niggas talk shit, bro. That shit pissed me off because, for one, you shouldn't be talking shit about family. Straight up. Like, you shouldn't talk shit about family. That's just bad. And if you do talk shit about family, it better be to other family. <laughs> y'all should be talking shit to each other in y'all faces. That's what I do. I talk shit to the nigga right there. Well, why wait until everybody gone? I'm gonna tell you this shit that's on my mind right there. Then I'm gonna offer you advice. Hey man, you know that was really fucking stupid. But I got an advice for you, dog. Stop being fucking stupid, man. It's really easy, bro. And if it come down to it where you really feel like you gotta like fuck these niggas, bro, just leave, bro. Just leave. <laughs> you don't have to be there, man. But it's easier to just be like, hey, I don't I really don't like when you do this. I feel really uncomfortable when you do this. You see how easy it was to say that? I'm on Twitch Live, bro. We can all do this together. And I want, one day, I just want to do like a little session with a bunch of people where we just talk about ways to, basically ways to do that. Like, hey, there's always a way around keeping from fucking people up. So many times, bro. I done raged out and fucked people up. And right after the fact, when they laid there and just leaky and looking so hurt and distraught. I don't really feel bad. I'm sorry, I ain't even gonna lie. I don't feel bad, but consciousness, man. I feel that pain in myself that I brought to myself. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> like that pain, man. Like, damn, I feel like I punched myself in the face a hundred times. Like, God damn, my head hurt. Cause I be so angry and wild, like, riled up stress like like it's like a knot in the back of your head and just somebody just just twisting that shit like bro it's not worth it bro beating niggas the fuck up it be feeling good during the moment but afterwards when you just like like that adrenaline rush like that shit is not worth it that shit is like smoking a hundred cigarettes and it's your first time smoking bro or you just like smoking cigarette after a long time and you just like like you be breathing hard and you heart be beating fast and the back of your head be, it be feeling like somebody pulling your fucking hair like shit is horrible man it's just no point and you take a lot like hours to days off of your life and eventually you could take years off your life and like a week of just being fucking angry like i'm pretty sure i took a couple of years off my life in like a few days <laughs> i've been that angry before bro where i've like broken shit like grab shit off of walls and just completely destroy shit bro i remember one time bro i like turned into like a tornado in the crib bro i was so fucking pissed bro i just start grabbing everything bro and i'm yelling at everybody just breaking shit just destroying shit i'm like yo you want to be a fucking you want to be a fucking person that that uh don't believe what like in love you want to believe in hate i'll show you what hate really look like nigga Fuck with your boy if you really want to see what real shit look like right then and there. Because I have no remorse, motherfucker. I'll destroy all this shit. That's why I'll be like, bro, it's not worth it. Because then you just stand in there after the fact. Niggas is crying. I don't give a fuck about your tears. I don't give a fuck about you sad. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Or none of this broke shit. 
but my hands bleeding. My fucking head hurt. My eyes bloodshot red. Fucking breathing hard. Heart beating like. Fuck that, man. If I can just, just stay out the way, I'd rather do that. You know what I'm saying? Raging used to that type of shit used to be fun for me, man. So that's why I'm telling y'all these. I'm telling y'all this so y'all know. I ain't perfect. I didn't. Well, to me, I'm fucking perfect. But to the standards of the world and God and all that bullshit, I'm not that. Let's just put it that way. I'm not goody two shoes. I wasn't, I ain't, like, I'm, I came from the gutter, my nigga. So, it's just what it is, bro. Like, this is just my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, this is all I know. So, me moving past that point and becoming who I am today and being able to get on here and just come from a place from the heart. And you know, I know people probably judge me when they watch these streams and shit. I'm coming from a real place. I genuinely give a fuck about everybody. And the people that also watch this stream, I, I give a fuck about y'all the most. But I genuinely just give a fuck about people. But when you try to cross my boundaries, I'm gonna let you know in my way though. And trust me, you don't wanna cross my boundaries. I make it so that niggas don't do that. So everybody who watching this stream, hey, save yourself the drama, create some boundaries, man. Tell people they the truth. Don't matter if certain shit might be gone. If you, if you a real one and you losing certain resources because of them, they wasn't fucking with you to begin with. So why even, why even, why? Why put yourself through that? You know what I'm saying? Fuck them resources, man. Get it out the mud. Cause I ain't had shit, man. Everything I ever got in my life, I got on my fucking own. Only thing, like, my parents did give me their first car. But other than that, man, as soon as I could, I bought my own shit. I kept that, that same car, and I bought my own car. I ran up a bag with that car, and I bought my own shit. So, it's cool. It's all right. Sometimes shit changes. But if you can't express yourself to people, you don't fucking need them. You can love everybody, man. But some people you gotta keep they motherfucking ass over there. Stay your ass over there. Cause all you gonna do is make me wanna fuck you up, bro. Even if I do love that. You can love somebody and wanna fuck them up. That ain't shit. <laughs> I can name I ain't got enough goddamn fingers. <laughs> so I'm just letting y'all know, man. Sometimes shit gonna get critical, but man, fuck that. Fuck that. It's people that really got time that really tell you how much they care about you. When I'm feeling low, I know I can always depend on 1111. When I'm getting low, I know I can always depend on you, man. Find you somebody who you can depend on, man. Get somebody around you who you can depend on that ain't gonna never, as long as they supporting you and they real with you. You don't need nobody who's gonna fucking lie to you every day and tell you some bullshit straight up like why why you even gonna do that to yourself and they can just stay come around you and just ain't got no kind of they ain't bringing you no kind of fucking value at whatsoever you don't need them type of people around you man dead ass if somebody draining the fuck out of you and you still around them bro you want you like that shit you sadistic as fuck i ain't gonna lie for the longest time i was sadistic as fuck <laughs> Like, I had so many addictions, y'all. One by one, I had to let them go. One by one. My first addiction was sex, bro. I, I've been a sex addict up until... Damn, when did I go? Like, really hardcore abstinent, bro. Had, oh, yeah. It was in 2017. Like, September 2017, I went completely abstinent. And before that, I had... I didn't even want to beat my meat, y'all. And I'm sorry for anybody who watching this day that uh, get sensitive about hearing words like beating and meeting. But I mean, I'm a dude, <laughs> I get horny. And pretty much with the shit that I take now, I take a lot of like highly dense foods that make sure that my burrito stay nice and strong. I think I'm always horny. But I was, a, I was a full on sex addict, bro. Like doing terrible things and I didn't got to the point now where I'm just like, 
Well, all right, it started with abstinence, just normal abstinence, where I just had to wean myself off of one head or vagina every five to ten minutes. Once I got past that point, I pretty much was cool. Like, I was like, all right, I don't need it. Like, it took a while, because I was still, I was having wet dreams like a damn ten-year-old, bro. <laughs> that's how, that's how horny I was for, like, in the beginning, bro, I was, like, busting on myself, like, probably every week. No cap. For like a minute, I ain't gonna say for three years, but for like for like six months to a year, bro, I probably was like busting on myself pretty often. After that, it, it got cool. It's I started being able to use that energy for other shit. So I started working on albums. I started working on beat tapes. I started writing these books. Like I had so much other shit to put my creativity, my creative energy, my sexual energy into, which they're the same thing. Creative energy, sexual energy, it's the same shit. So I had, I had other outlets. I didn't have to just go to pussy. Like, you know, like there was other plug, you know, other uh, sockets I could put the plug in. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, oh, I have to like, I'm gonna go crazy if I don't get some pussy. Like I, I've yet to have pussy to this very day. Straight up. Like, I'm happy about that. <laughs> I know people will probably talk shit about me, bro. <laughs> Why you mad at me? <laughs> no pussy getting at me. But I'm proud of that, man. Cause I, if, if, look, I was so bad, y'all. And I'm gonna be real with you. If my girlfriend would give me no pussy, I would go to her friend and her friend would give me pussy. If her friend wasn't giving me pussy, I'd go to her other friend and get some pussy. Like, it was, bruh, I'm not proud of this shit. But I'm just telling y'all, like, bruh, I done came a long way, man. You can too. If you watching this and you feeling like, bruh, I can't do shit. I'm a light worker. I don't know my purpose. Life fucked up. I hate everything. Like, bruh. I was addicted to fucking, I was a alcoholic. I literally had to like go basically to like a fake rehab. I came, I came back here and then drink and I had to stay around family just, just for a minute. So I went and drink like, bruh, I was so bad with alcohol. Y'all, I kept a bottle in the trunk and a bottle in the passenger seat and we drinking to wherever we going back from wherever we going. If I'm at work, we taking shots with the managers. I don't give a fuck. I'm getting wasted. I'm on a job, making and doing whatever the fuck. We getting trashed on duty. <laughs> and we keeping blunts rolled. You know what I'm saying? Like, shrooms at work, all kind of shit. Like, I done came a long fucking way, man. I believe in every single person who watched this stream, yo. I believe in y'all. Do not let these fucking devils get you down. And I'm changing the paradigm on that. Because demons ain't the reason you the way you is, nigga. You the reason you the way you is. And I ain't talk about you personally, the people who watching this shit, but motherfuckers who got something to say, but ain't got they fucking shit right. The reason they the way they are, the way that they are, is because they chose to be that way. So when they start casting fears on you, you have to remember that. Hey, man, it's going to be all right. We're going to get through this together if you're willing. And if not, man, then we part ways. And I always love you. Always. But I can't fuck with you, my nigga, because you got a whole different mindset I'm off of. I never really been on. Even when I was fucked up getting trash and had hoes out by the dozen. I was not fucking worried about that shit. I was on my mission then. How the fuck you go to work? Work. I, I'm opening up the store because I'm a manager at one location and I'm closing the other shit. Six days a week. Sometimes seven days a week. We party every day. Every after work, every night we partying. Gotta get back up at 5 a.m. We partying. Like... And I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying it's people who go harder than me that didn't turn their life around. It's like workers that was going harder than me. My heart is based in Pisces energy, man. My moon sign is Pisces. For those who follow astrology, my moon sign is Pisces, y'all. Like, drugs stay in my vicinity, man. If I ain't got drugs, these hoes I'm fucking with got drugs. Like, that's how I was. Oh, you got acid? I gotta go to work tomorrow, but fuck it. Let's go. I'm tripping on the on duty. Telling motherfuckers what to do. Tripping my balls off, man. That's why I'm saying, bro. Sometimes shit seem like it's impossible. But I know for a fact that my silly, goofy ass could have got through that bullshit. Because to me, that shit I was on, goofy as fuck. Goofy as hell, boy. I ain't have nobody around me telling me, nah, son, don't do that. 
Niggas wanted to be like me. That's the worst part. I had niggas trying to be like me. I basically had a class, like a school of niggas. I would tell, man, how you be getting all, how you do this shit, bro? Nigga, you, you got all this money. You got this crib. You got these cars, nigga. Blah, blah, blah. And y'all know this. I don't got none of that shit no more, right? I let all that shit go. I didn't become a homeless. And I let all that shit go. I wandered the streets. Completely just fucked my life off. Like, who cares? Because I was on a quest to really find myself. Sometimes you got to really just let go of the past completely, man. For you to know how to deal with that type of shit, man. It sucks. It sucks because people that you thought will always be there. They might not be there no more, but hey. It's like that. That's that's just how it is. We can't all all make it to the end. Cause we all gonna die alone anyway. Even if I die next to my lover, bro. Still alone. <laughs> cause it's all one. All one energy, regardless of the fact. And I ain't saying this cause it's sad. I'm saying this because it's actually a really great thing. Cause even though it might seem like I'm separate from you, you right here all alone. You in my heart already. You never left and you were never gone. That energy that from somebody else, oh, I lost my lover. That energy is in the same people. Why you equate in the, the power of all mind and true heart to separate entities when you know that that same love, that same feeling, that whatever the fuck that you're chasing if you're chasing anything, it's already within you. And there's people that when they see people being, when they see you being you, they're going to go straight to that shit. They're going to go straight to that energy and be like, hey, you're you're who I've been looking for. So, y'all, don't let, don't let shit fuck, don't let nothing fuck you up, bro. You got to thug it out, man. Everything is a test. Everything is a test, man. Even drinking water is a test, bro. <laughs> Beating your meat is a test, bro. <laughs> but yeah, man. That's my motivational speech for today. I guess we just gonna call this Taco Tuesday, but we ate nachos motivational speech. <laughs> I like this name though, Taco Tuesday, but we ate nachos. And I put a question mark like, nachos? <laughs> Not sure. Y'all remember that shit Jack Black did when he was a wrestler and a priest? That sound like my life. <laughs> a wrestler and a priest. But it'd be like the president and uh, the ultimate cult leader. <laughs> That's why I'll be laughing like, bro. Nacho Libre was a funny movie. That nigga Jack Black, boy, he funny. Even though he's worshiped the devil, but that's cool, man. Worshiping the devil is bad. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, man, we're all we're all devils. We're, we live in hell. <laughs> if the all mind is is here in the physical realm, we all in hell and we all the devil. So, fuck it. <laughs> but I know, like, like where you're like, what the fuck? No, nah, bro, what you talking about, bro? I'm a being of the light. Listen, I know I said I'm gonna get the gray the gray cloak. I'm gonna get a white cloak too. Cause you know, so I'm about to start doing uh, different energies in these cloaks. But right now, we gotta start these off the right way. Lord to perfect the work. I gotta have my my Sith coat. This is my Sith uniform. Um, I want to start wearing my uh, gray my gray Jedi uniform, but I haven't. I gotta master this shadow side of me first, which I think I'm doing all right, man. I, I haven't fucked nobody up. I really could have just went clean across the nigga face a few days ago, but I tapped into my Jedi energy and I let them feel like they was the man. So, you know, I let people talk. They like to do that anyway, shit. I like to talk, but I ain't talking like that. I don't give a shit. I care about the world. I got too many things I got to do so that the world can see. So they can be like, I can do it too. I can do, if Shu can do it, I can do it too, man. I don't know who I'm imitating, but that's what they gonna say when they see me. <laughs> I can do it too. I just be staying out the way, y'all. It ain't it ain't even that hard to stay out the way, man. 
especially when motherfuckers come around. I stay to get. Look, they've been here every day this week. Uh, you see where I'm at, right? I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> I'm talking to the family, Lord X's family, outside of the family, the real family, the ones that I created. Y'all, my babies. But yeah, I think that's that's gonna be it today. I think I'm gonna just wrap it up here. Still got about four minutes, so shameless plug. Hey, I am Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. And you are watching Lord of Perfected Work. I want to thank everybody who ever watches these streams. If you're sharing these streams with your people, I love you so much. Share these on your platforms. Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, whatever. Share with the people because they need this. Oh, shit. I just got a message. Message? Let's see what the message of today is. Hold on. I'm going to use my phone. I was about to use this damn laptop. Angel number 655. I'm going to read it to y'all. Uh-oh. Hold on. I got two messages. Uh, 428 and 655. 428 is a message that you are financially secure in your life. And your material and financial needs will always be met. Your prayers, visualizations, and positive affirmations have been heard and acknowledged by the angelic and higher spiritual realms. Your actions and devotion to serving your life purpose has manifested abundance. Nice work. And ensured a steady flow of material supply into your life. Okay, I see you, big dog. Remember to be grateful for your blessings and remember that the more you have, the more you have to share with Lord Shuex. Angel number 428 brings a message from your angels that your hard work, efforts, and determinations are reaping rewards. And you are being blessed with the fruits of your labors. Through diligence and determination, you have achieved a great deal. And the angels are commending you for your efforts and are encouraging you to keep up the good work. Good job. Good job. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, angel number 428 may also suggest that a cycle or a phase will be coming to an end soon with rewards coming from hard work well done well done like the nigga from Mortal Kombat well done do not fear lack or loss as these endings and conclusions will lead to auspicious new beginnings and opportunities and your success and achievement will bring blessings and rewards of many kinds not just one blessing but rewards of many kinds into your life when we give to life, we receive from life. I don't know if I don't know if y'all heard me in the back. I said, when we give to life, we receive from life. Kind of goes with what we're talking about today. All right, six fifty five. Let's get it. And this one just came through. The angel just spoke to me through this this uh, citron. That's what this crystal is right here, citron. They hit me up through the citron like Alright, angel number 655 suggests that major changes are taking place in your life And you may be feeling apprehensive or, <laughs> or anxious about what is ahead of you Know that these changes are happening to advance you along your life path and soul mission That means you're not chasing it You're already living it Okay Nice job Good job You are encouraged to take full advantage of these changes and the new opportunities they will bring. Your prayers and positive affirmations have manifested these much needed changes, so trust that they are right for you. 655 encourages you to bring some fresh new energies into your home and family environment and or start a project related to something that you are truly interested in. You can also expect some positive new additions to your home and or family life and or some great news coming your way. The answers that you've been seeking will now come to you. As you live your life true to your own values and personal hold on let me start that over as you live your life true to your own values and personal spirituality aka your own religion the angels and universal energies will ensure that all of your needs are taken care of leaving you free to pursue the course of action that takes you closer to living your personal truths okay 
This is the angels telling y'all this now. This ain't even me no more. 655 indicates that wonderful changes are taking place and new opportunities will miraculously appear. With help from your angels, when you live your life being true to yourself and honest with others, you manifest positive outcomes, energies, and they desire results. Okay? That's a spiritual obstacle you got to get past. And we're going to do it together, y'all. Um, Shoelovesrebels.com. If you haven't visited it, please do. My social media is on there. All of our social media, SLR, the, the entire uh, company's social media is on there. Check it out. Uh, these products next to my face. These are products in the stores. That's also on the website. Check it out. If you fuck, if you fucking with it, everything on the all the jewelry is fifty percent off. And I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching these again. Um, yeah, Lord Shoe X out, man. I'm out this beach. I'm out this beach. Let me stop playing. <laughs> I'm out this beach.